When you're new to an electronic device, it's very easy to make a mistake while setting it up. So by performing a factory reset on our Synology B station, not only will we return it back to the same state it left the factory, but we will also be removing all settings and any data stored on it. On a Synology B station, there are two ways to perform a factory reset. One from within system settings, and one from the device itself. Let's start by looking at initiating a factory reset from within system settings. With our B station connected to our home network, if we open a web browser and type portal.bstation.synology.com, when we press enter, we're taken to the B station portal. After signing in using our Synology account, we're presented with the My B station page. Now by selecting the option button, and in the menu choosing system settings, we're connected to our B station. Next in the sidebar of system settings, if we choose system, at the bottom of the screen we have an option to perform a factory reset. By selecting the factory reset button, we're informed that all files will be removed from our B station and our B station will be returned to its factory defaults. We now need to confirm that we wish to perform a factory reset by entering the provided code into the corresponding field. When we click Erase All Data, our B station will start to perform its factory reset. The alternative method for performing a factory reset is from the device itself. Once again, with our B station connected to our home network, if on the rear of our B station we locate the reset switch, by using some sort of reset tool, for example a bent paperclip, if we press and hold down the reset switch for roughly 5 seconds, or until the B station beeps, we will start the factory reset process. If we look at the front of our B station, we can monitor the factory reset via the status light. The status light will first blink yellow while any data is removed from the hard drive. It's important that while your B station is being factory reset, you do not try to power it down or remove it from its power source. This is because this action could damage the B station's operating system and cause your B station to fail to restart. When the status light starts to blink white, it's signalling that it's starting to reboot. Then when the status light changes to a static yellow, the reset process will have been completed and the B station will be ready to either be powered down or once again be set up. It's worth noting that while the data on your B station has been deleted, it is possible to restore deleted data. So if you are decommissioning your B station, we recommend that you remove its hard drive and either manually perform a secure wipe or try and shatter or score the disk platters in the drive.